Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris Atchison here from the Southwest Florida Real Estate Group, powered by MVP Realty. It's good to see all you guys out there on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. I'm here again with Kristen Wilkinson, and we're doing another uh, weekly market update reflecting the Southwest Florida real estate market. Lots of exciting things out there. Uh, and uh, as you can see behind me really quickly, this is just one of our featured communities, Esplanade in North Naples, right across from where the new Mercado is going called The Point. Uh, lots of very affordable uh, condos in there for sale in the mid 200,000s resort style community. If you guys have any questions about Esplanade, give Kristen or I a call. And Kristen, what are we seeing this week in the market update report? Yeah, well, um, I think there's a few changes that we really want to take note of. One is that the closed sales for condos is down over 200%. That's pretty huge. Mm -hmm. Um, before we got on this call, we were kind of um, deliberating and discussing the analytics. And really, um, what, we've, what we came to the conclusion of is that um, condos for a while now have been pretty saturated um, on the market here. And so the best buy is still going to be that condo. But villas and townhomes are a really close second. You can see at the bottom... Um, the failed listings for condos are down 24.6%. Failed listings for villas and townhomes are up 35.7%. So mm -hmm. to me, that means that people are buying the condos right now. So realtors are doing a really good job at pricing pretty aggressively and talking to their sellers about lowering their price if they're just a little bit too high. Um, villas and townhomes, failed listings, again, they're up. Days on markets down number of closed sales is down, but look at the median closed price for those two. So median closed price for uh, a villa or townhome is $250,000. Median closed price for a condo is 190. That looks like a big gap, but then going up to price per square foot, price per square foot for villas and townhomes is 152 and 76 cents. Mm -hmm. Median price per square foot for condos is 151 and 10 cents. So really, my message is that if you want the absolute best bang for your buck, go with a condo. If you're looking maybe at a single family home, talk to your realtor about a detached villa and you might get a really good price on that. I mean, if we look and if we compare the median closed price for single family homes versus villas and townhomes, we're at 287 for single family and 250 mm -hmm. for villas and townhomes. So that's my that's my best advice to you, best bang for your buck, condos. If you're looking between single family home and villa and you wanna save a little bit of money, go for the villa or the townhome. Single family homes are pretty strong. Ultimately, not much has changed from last week to this week in terms of the type of market that we're in. There's opportunity everywhere. If you're a seller, price aggressively, you're going to go. If you're a buyer, interest rates are super low right now. And look, I mean, you're going to get a, you're going to get a great deal. So you can't really go wrong either way. Just find that realtor that you trust. Feel free to contact one of the RE group agents. Um, we're all, you know, very well trained and, and we all just are here to help. So um, that's my piece of advice. What do you got, Chris? No, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the one thing I'll that you already commented on is the you know the median close price for for condos is dropping drastically. So if you are a condo buyer, I mean the time to buy is now in my opinion, just mm -hmm. because those numbers are are very low. People are unloading those second condos, those those snowbird houses, uh, and they're you know they're most of them are up north now because it's you know approaching the summertime. So you're going to buy a snowbird house in a you know in a non snowbird buying season, that's kind of the ideal scenario. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no exciting stuff. And, and next, uh, next Friday, June 5th, uh, Kristen and I are going to be going over the entire month of uh, May holistically. And we're going to kind of look at these, these uh, metrics in the aggregate. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, we might even lump in all of April too. And as you know, April 1st is kind of like the start of, you know, the quarantine for, for COVID. So that's when the, uh, the market really started taking some, very drastic turns and, and we saw some very unusual activity unprecedented. Uh, so stick with us and feel free to comment on this video below. We'll see all you guys next Friday and I, we hope you have a great weekend. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.